morning, Island Rose Scholars. My name is Anaya DeVos, your president. And today I want to welcome you to this beautiful Here message. Here trimester program. two. That means trimester one is completely over. And I want to encourage a lot of you, if you did not do all the things you were supposed to do in trimester one, guess what? You get the opportunity to try again for trimester two. Trimester one was fantastic. As you saw, we had a lot of great things happening, but trimester two is going to be even greater. So here's some things that I want you to remember. As a scholar, you must focus on your results, meaning how are you going to improve academically and also your character. Remember, you are goal setting. Two goals for academics and one goal for character. Have that goal setting sheet visited by you every day. Take a look at it and also make sure that you do it so that we can improve who we are. I'm going to do the same thing. Also, our focus is listening. We know that listening, being respectful, and working hard are our three rules here at Allen Rowe. But listening is a skill. We know we have two ears that can hear, but listening is different. We are intentional. We look at the person. We are quiet. We are focused when we are listening. So scholars, I expect great things from you. As you can see, I have adorned myself in these purple medals. One is for the honor roll and one is for perfect attendance. Now perfect attendance means that of course you have to be here every day, but you must be on time as well. If you are tardy more than six times, you cannot receive an honor roll certificate. You can have straight A's, but if you're tardy more than six times, you will not be given honor roll recognition. Also, if you're misbehaving in your class, you will not be given honor roll recognition. You have to be at 90% or, or above in your behavior. That's every day. So scholars, just like your teachers are working hard, I expect you to work hard. Let's have a fantastic trimester too. Thank you. Let's see Naya, let's see Naya Thomas on the spot. Welcome and good morning, Ellen Rowe, to On the Spot with Naya Thomas and... Mr. Turner, how are you doing, Naya? I'm good, how are you? All right, all right. Mr. Turner, I have a question for you. Why did you decide on Ellen Rowe College Park? Well, first of all, I support the mission of holding the African American Achievement Gap. You know, something that was important to me. You know, uh, once I found out what was going on here at the Portland School, I was, I was all in. You know, um, I, I really. No, Mr. Turner. Thank you for your time. Right, Back and cheese. Wednesday, December 13th is hot dogs, and Thursday, December 14th is crispy chicken sandwiches. On um, Friday, December 15th is turkey and cheddar sandwiches. Hi, Alan Rowe College Prep. Thank you again for that wonderful message. Hey, there's some extra things happening on our campus this week. So remember on Thursday, I just want to let you know we have our winter gala coming up. Uh, it'll be K to second grade between, I'll uh, be at 8.30 a.m. So parents, please come and support it. But just remember, it's from kindergartner to second grade the first day. That'll be on Thursday, 12-14, so that's December 14th, 8.30 on our campus at MP Room. Not only that, it's very important. On the 15th of Friday, the next day, it will be the same time at 8.30 a.m. Not only that, it's from grade 3 to 7th grade. So parents, please come. Call your grandparents. Call everyone to come and watch these amazing scholars, especially you scholars, work really hard to be there and especially with the music. And thank you, Mr. Frentes, for running that department, especially our music department. Uh, not only that, I want to remind parents that uh, winter break is coming up, so there will be no school between December 18th through January 1st. We will be back on campus January 2nd. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call the office. Second thing, uh, well, third thing, remember parents to put this on your calendars and students, please put this on your calendar. I will have a little clip of a little of what we did last year at MLK um, March. It's coming up and you'll have these all passed around already on campus. We would love to have all you amazing parents and family and students, our scholars to come and support the walk. It's our MLK 
Um, we do it every year at the Capitol. So um, if you need more information, grab one of these from your teacher's front desk. And remember, uh, grab one of these. They'll give you all the information. We are going to definitely do it again this year. We had a great time last year. Um, not only that, remember, uh, this is the last Fun Friday for the year till next year. So remember, if you need to get into Fun Friday, remember you need to have your test scores 80 or higher. Second thing, remember to have your behavior checked because if your behavior on the hallways, even in recess, even in PE, even the cafeteria, if all my behavior techs are writing your name down, even in the hallway, if you're speaking loud or running, your name will be on that list and you only get five chances. And if you get five of those marks, that means you will have that list of No Fun Friday. So your teachers will get that list because of the behavior out of our campus. That means let's definitely work on that behavior. I want my hallways to be silent because remember students, that every time you're passing, the teachers are teaching. So we need to show that respect in the hallway and respect, as I said, so please work on your test scores, your behavior, and your homework. So please turn all those in and work hard. I have another big surprise. I'm working with the amazing families and amazing things happening for Fun Friday. Remember, it takes a lot of time and, and planning for your Fun Fridays. So. Every Friday is always something special, is always something surprising, and I know you guys could do it. So I would love to see the whole campus come. So work on that. Work on your behavior. Work on your test scores and work on your homework. Okay? We believe in you. This is why Allen Rowe is the place to grow because we are growing your minds to be somebody one day. Um, and I think that is about it. I don't have anything else, but please take a look at that amazing slideshow. And remember, Allen Rowe is the place to grow. And not only that, if you have any questions, please do talk to your parents or even to Miss Megan or your teachers about these events coming up. So thank you again for your support, parents. Thank you for the support, um, our amazing scholars, and thank you for all you do. Have a wonderful, amazing Wednesday, and always remember, we are that place to grow. Allen Rowe, the place to grow. Have a great day. Thank you for watching, and enjoy the clip. Have a great winter break!